Welcome back to Daughters of Ash, everyone. Uh, contrary to my promise at the end of the last episode, I am not here uh, with a fresh Baldur's side sword in my inventory. I did quite a lot of farming. Uh, I'm lying. I've done a few more farming runs. And it's just not happening, man. It's just not dropping. However, I have done a little bit of internet searching. I looked up a tips and tricks thing. Not even that. It's a Reddit page. I looked up a Reddit page. I should just say what it is. This, this mod doesn't have like walkthroughs or anything. But the Baldur Side Sword is available for pickup, actually. Here in this area, which is Sans Forge. The thing is, oh, the Divine Ember. Of course, I have it. Yeah, his voice dialogue. I mean, obviously they were gonna like pop the voice actor around. Hey, dude who voiced Andre, come on, do some lines for our mod. Yeah, so I shouldn't expect that. I'm gonna reinforce this because I have quite a few. Let's get it to plus three. I'm only getting it to plus three because in case getting to the side sword slash swag sword is easy, it's here uh, in Sense Forge. I'm not gonna like bother upgrading this for the. I immediately screwed up. Immediately. Like five meters into this thing, I've already screwed up. Luckily, this is not the end of the world. And what I'm gonna do here is basically a quick hit and run. Uh, the comment I read on where the swag sword is was kind of vague. So. I'm hoping I have the area on lockdown. If not, there's going to be hella running around. But you know, this is the thing they said that uh, specifically this mod gifts a lot of the kind of rare weapons to the player in sort of out of the way spots. Okay, yeah, you are a little bit stronger. Than some of these other enemies, obviously. <laughs> Shit. Yes, we are under leveled. I'm surprised they let you go to this place. I mean, see, this begs this begs the question of what the hell do you need to ring the bells for? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be. For sure, speed running. We are gonna speed run the shit out of this. Holy shit! Are you kidding me? It's still going? I dodged that because of the. Okay, that's repair powder now. I dodged that because of <laughs> my <laughs> getting to the chest. Yes, this still works. Good, good. Uh, uh, I think enemies have extended aggro ranges in this game. Cool. That was a little bit painful. Uh, shit. Yeah, okay. Fair play game, fair play. That was straight up annihilated, holy shit. Sword from the back, sword from the front. Kebab this bitch. I haven't had, I haven't had a kebab in so long. Like a proper drunk kebab. Which gives you shits the next day. Uh, probably summer of 18, 2018 was the last time. Quite a while ago. That wasn't even a kebab, it was a gyro. It doesn't matter. The thing is... 
You know that drunk kebabs are a dangerous combo, boy. Holy shit, that's quick. Did they make that shit quicker? And here's the deal. Come on. Cool. If I'm wrong about this, this is gonna be very, very embarrassing. Apparently it's here. But it ain't looking like it's here. Which means the boy is in trouble. Oh, come on. That doesn't... Okay. Hold on. Maybe it's through once it smashes the wall. Okay, you only need a couple more. What was I talking about? I had drunk kebabs. Yeah, doesn't matter. Best drunk food is still burgers in my opinion. Like that shit is God tier. Holy shit. It's gonna be that, isn't it? I... Oh, <laughs> the physics. Not sure that is exactly how it works. These boulders aren't like... No! Go! 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 <laughs> We're still good. Get up, bitch. And get the hell out of here. The boulder is coming. This is some Indiana Jones shit. We got it. We got the swag sword. We got the swagger. I need... I have the stats. Cool. Listen, boys. I know not everybody was happy about the swag sword. It is a very common weapon, but... It's a weapon I don't use. I never use it specifically because it's so common. So I thought, you know, why not indulge? Who knows, maybe they rebalance this weapon to be absolutely terrible. It could be. Uh, reinforce. Yeah, let's. Now we're gonna spend the tight night. And we need two more. You still sell tight night? Yes, you do. There we go. Excuse the burp. I so say, yeah, best drunk food is definitely burgers. There's a place here, and man, this is making me miss not being able to go out. Uh, there is a place, and shout out to all the Hungarians who are watching this, who know about it. It's called Zing Burger. It's they have a couple of locations around the city. And man, do they make the best goddamn burgers. Especially, like the real secret there is if you have spare cash. This is like the... Well, it's not even a tactic because it's on the fucking menu. This isn't like RB secret menu shit. But if you go for the Angus beef option, god tier. Like absolutely god tier. There's no other way to put it. Okay, this is much better. And by the way, I'm using the good controller now. Which means I can actually parry. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll look through the church. We'll look at what the hell is in here. Okay, they put... You know what? Shout out to the mods. Not the, not like the chat mods, but the modders, because they moved this asshole ambush down here. And I'm so happy they did that, because this has got to be one of the... If you're a new player, this section has got to be one of the most dickish runbacks, initially. Like, the first time I experienced all of this on playthrough number one, my my mind was blown. I'm like, seriously? They expect you to do this every single time you die? 
Because, you know, first playthrough, the gargoyles seem like the most difficult fucking boss in the world. They sure did for me. And then it's like, you gotta go through these schmucks. Oh, there's two of them. You gotta go through these schmucks as well to... Uh, it works. I am surprised. I thought there would be like some secret extra step that you would have to take. Man, you know one thing I've noticed, and if this is gonna stay consistent in this game, it's gonna make things interesting, is that humanity seems to be fairly rare to come by. Which is good, because honestly, in this game, OG, Dark Souls 1, getting fucking humanities is a breeze. Like, it's so easy to stack up to 99. Oh, this schmuck is here. I don't know why I'm saying schmuck. I like schmuck as a word. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. No, I did not. They must be there. Are you gonna sell me shit? He's not. Because I haven't read enough books for his liking. Not intelligent. I don't. I don't browse Reddit slash atheism enough to have the intelligence. It's all good. It looks like they've gone. Clerics, which is all good. I mean, I've joined their stupid religion already. That's why I cannot get spells from that guy, you know. You notice that I don't browse Reddit slash atheism enough. <laughs> yup. Look at this face. Look at this face. I like it. Character creator. Character creator in this game is. Mwah. It's top tier. Well, I wonder what's down there. I mean, obviously, we know what's down there, but. You know, I'm speaking in terms of this mod. I did get a transient curse. Whatever. We'll, we'll do shit in order here. We'll do things in order. Explore the church, or finish exploring the church. Probably get the gargoyles as well while we're at it. And I should go back into human form before I do that. And this armor is low tier as hell. Yeah. Somebody said I should make my character look like a Roman warrior, which the Boulder Knight set is like the best set for that. For sure. It's a little bit heavy. I really wish, you know, you know what's missing in this game? In all the Souls games, really. Like... A medium shield that is square shaped. Because, you know, like if you look at a Roman warrior, they had kind of square shields, but not great shields. Like medium shields. And it's just not. Are you fuck? You're cheating ass. Did I just get backstabbed? Actually, I think these guys do know how to backstab. But what they do not know how to if defeat is height difference height difference is the number one enemy of these enemies holy shit this weapon is I mean everybody knows this weapon is broken so I ain't exactly you know thanks light crossbow I think I've used enough of a crossbow for a lifetime. East-West shield actually. But again it's not square. It's like... Weird and low tier looking. 
and it matches more with like I hate the look of the leather shield that you start with in this game. It looks so stupid. It's like something you would serve a giant Chicago deep dish pizza on. Did I ever tell that story during streams or something when I was in Chicago with the fam and we because Chicago is really expensive we stayed just outside like half an hour outside of Chicago in a motel and oh he's not in there interestingo where the shit did you come from he just killed me he just backstabbed well not really backstab fished me but he sure as shit backstabbed me I have no clue where this dude came from honestly uh, so yeah, we were in Chicago, and we got there, it's lunchtime, we just drove six hours from, uh, fuck, where did we stay over? I don't remember where we stayed over. Cleveland, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then, we get there, it's lunchtime. And I have the br the brilliant idea, and I can't even speak, that we should obviously, being in Chicago, we should get a deep dish. Look at all the places, and there's one place that delivers deep dish. One tiny problem, though. So you can only get it in the largest size. And we were like, you know, we were hungry as fuck. It was me and my parents. We were hungry as hell, so... At that time, ordering a giant deep dish pizza seemed like a good idea. Bro, this shit was, like, gigantic. Like, there's no other way to put it. It was absolutely insane. Uh, deep dish, of course. So it's basically a tomato sauce and cheese pie. Like, there's no other way to describe it. And it was good. In fact, it was hella good, but bruh, we couldn't finish like a third of it. Eat shit. This is the dude that ambushed me. That's what you get. Give me a humanity too. And that's the first and last time I've actually had deep dish pizza in my life. Which is kind of a shame because I actually kind of like it. Oh, there's a dude in here. I did find it strange. I was like, he really would aggro from that far away. But he didn't. That's sneaky. That is very sneaky. I didn't notice him. No cap. Like, yeah, again, I know people are going to hate on me, but, you know, the king of pizzas is still the thin ones. New York Slice. But... Oh, come on. I like me a deep dish. Again. Cheese and tomato sauce pie. Which is basically what it is. Who wouldn't want that? So I'm assuming this is still the boss. For sure, there's an item there too. Uh, I think we'll go back. I will... Oh, I'm gonna have to come through these guys again. See, when I can parry, things actually go a lot smoother. I want to turn back into human form. Because... I want to see Solaire. I'm not gonna summon him, because... Is cheating by like basically cheating, but you know, man, that thing looks cool. The super good looking sword, by the way, the Balder swag holds true to its name, you know, but yeah, whatever. I, there is no but. That's what I'm gonna have to do when this whole thing is over. I'm talking about Corona. I have to find a deep dish place in Budapest. I'm 100% sure there's one. 
Because there, we have everything at this point. Or I could just make one. Sketchhead cooks. Man, I'm just thinking, you know, now that I've got this new phone, uh, my new phone with an actually good camera, like a high tier camera, there's so much I can do. Because I have a camera as well, a Canon, but as I said, it's kind of a hassle, you know, because it's, it's meant for photography, not for a video. So one of the things it has, for example, is it has a recording limit of I think 20 minutes I think yeah it's 20 minutes so after 20 minutes it just stops the video uh, which is kind of annoying and you know it's like you have it's manual focus and all that and it's none of that with my phone yeah they made it easy This is why it's nice when people who make the mods are fans of the game because they know which parts are no solaire. No, they know which parts are unfair. And they fix that shit. Are you kidding me? There's no boss. There's I saw the HP bar. Did you see the HP bar? I saw it. And I have a feeling I know exactly what's gonna happen. That we're gonna ring the bell. And then they're gonna ambush you. What up? Social distancing, dude. Don't try to hug me. Yeah, social distance with this fool. Of course we're gonna get the gesture. Uh, what do you sell? Velka's talisman. He says, sells the usual. Book of the Guilty. <laughs> Which is actually useless because... You know what? I'm gonna quit the religion. I've browsed atheism too much. Yeah, this dude, hella bad at social distancing. So we're gonna pop up here and we'll see what happens because I'm assuming the gargoyles on top of Sans Fortress won't like take you up if you haven't rung the bells. I can't really think of anything else. Traveling gloves. What are these? <laughs> Seemingly too late for shifting rusted old lower. What? Which? Which item is this? Gauntlet's too weak to pull lever. What? <laughs> Hold on. I'll give you gauntlets. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's pretty good. So basically. We haven't we haven't worked out enough to be able to pull the bell. I'm sure there's a jacking off joke in there somewhere. But I'm not gonna make it. I didn't even know he said that. Okay. Is there gonna be gargoyles? There's gonna be no gargoyles. That is crazy, bruh. Like, seriously? Too much of a bitch to pull the lever? I think that's what's going on. Okay, that part of the level is, I'm guessing, off limits. 
or that part of our quest. What am I doing? I'm gonna get killed here. It's a maze. So, I think what we have to do is we'll go back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get killed. I, I got killed. That was worth the humanity. I'm stupid. Okay, it looks like running from shit works less somehow in this version of the game. I don't know how. Maybe it's the enemy placement, but I've just been like not able to run away from shit as efficiently as you can in vanilla DS1. The only thing I can think of doing is we'll head back through the burg, or I mean the parish, back towards the dragon. Fuck off, mouse. Why, why does my mouse always creep back onto the screen? It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Let me get my shit. There we go. Man, losing some of your HP is just like... You don't even notice how much of a hindrance it is. But it is a hindrance. Not a small one either. Cool. I've been like stuck in this like <laughs> little area for this entire episode. More than this episode actually. Okay. Go for today. Actually make progress. We kind of achieved it. I'm really curious as to what they're going to do with the later stages of the game. Uh, because, you know, like, up to Ornstein and Smo, you know, you can remix the enemies, apparently introduce new bosses, you know, change the order of things, and all that, but... Hold on a hot minute. That dude, res this dude respawns? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I didn't think this dude de respawned. This dude they. So again, like... This isn't the part of the game that needs work. Uh, that comes after an Orlando. And that's where I'm going to be curious as to like what changes they will introduce because those areas are kind of bunk, you know. Every Souls player in the world knows. Like I'm I'm mega hyped for Lost Islith. What the hell they're going to do with it? There was ever a place where a new boss needed to be. I seriously can't parry. There was ever a place where a new boss needed to be introduced. It's Lost Isolith. Or like majorly updated. Actually that holds true for that entire area. Seath as well. I mean, even Seath. Can't really say that's a good boss, can you? Is he gonna parry my... I don't think so. I was wondering if he was gonna parry my uh, thrusts. Sword thrusts. Just gonna clarify. You know, I can probably count on my hands the number of times I've gone through this area this way. Oh, Firekeeper Soul, nice. See, so that was worth it. That was very much worth it. What? Did you see that? 
I got Bloodborne dodged. That's kind of crazy. He hit me with the Bloodborne dodge. Man, they're really throwing Titanite Shard at you. I mean, the fact that the Berenic Knight or whatever the Armored Fool's name is, pretty much means you have a free source of Titanite because that, that fool drops Titanite at a pretty insane rate. The thing being that, oh no. This might be un problemo, you know. Unless we hit that ass with the sword. This sword is very well suited to this type of ass activity, you know. I can't deny it. Can't really get a much better sword for this duty, except maybe a rapier. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no, it's too easy to die. It's very easy to die, like again, you know, that's like Demon Souls. When when they hit you with that 70% HP. Solo an old soldier. It it gets tough, you know. Because even if you keep upgrading your HP, like the cut. There's a serious cut. Except you are dealing with a parry god. So... Did, did you hear that? I heard it. I am hearing it. I'm too scared to go up there. Uh, Black Knights. There's probably a back... Uh, it's probably a... Oh, shit. It's probably a Black Knight up there. Which would be Muy Mal. I am coming back here. There ain't even a... There ain't even a bonfire here. And by here I mean there. Something is... I can hear something being aggroed on me. I can hear their feet sizz. Man, I, I, it's coming through, like, like, you know, reversing through these areas is just strange sometimes. It's going to put me, like, way back. Put me on the way back. Hey, can you kill this? Thank you. Still don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. I wonder if he, you know, deposits himself the same way as he does. The only question is, is there actually a bonfire here? There is no bonfire here. That is, again, pretty, pretty muy mal. For sure. Wooden shield. It's got the looks. It's got the style, you know, the wooden shield. I'm a little bit scared. First of all, I have 10k souls. I'm just thinking what the chances are that there's going to be a black knight up here. Oh, it's a very unique knight. Uh, do I want to fight him? Do I want to fight him? I kind of don't want to fight him. 
Shit, there's a serious lack of bonfires I'm feeling here. Game. Stingy with them. There's no way I'm gonna make it back up there. Cracked buckler. Standard set. Nice. Is there a dragon coming to fuck my day up? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're gonna do a quick... Get the item Homeward Bone out. Are you... No! <laughs> No, 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 no. I did all that work for jack shit. I think it's time to wrap up this episode. I've been going for a pretty long time. Damn it, I cannot believe I missed that. I'm stretching, by the way. Ah, oh, that sucks. I think I'm gonna waltz on over back there and we'll get that item. We can make a straight run for it, I think. Because I want to find out what that is. Anyways, this has been episode 4 of Daughters of Ash. Thanks for watching, boys. I f <laughs> I'm so stupid. For a second, I was, I was just about to say, wait, how the fuck did I keep my humanity and my souls? But And I ju just realized I homeward boned. I didn't die. I didn't die. I'm not stupid. I am stupid. Anyways, make sure to hit this video with a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment. Do all that. We'll pick it up from here next time. Peace out.